to close the show of the reigning Shropshire Company of the Year, aren't we, Chris? We which are. is uh, Neil Hooper from ACO. You came to this event, the I launch did. event last year, and for the I, first time. And didn't I just you, said, so. see, I was talking to Kelly before and Rachel from the chamber, and I said, I can't believe it's a year since I was here with you, and you were hosting it, obviously. And that's just gone so quick. I think one of the things as well though, you know, last year it was an opportunity for the first time in two or three years for everybody to actually get back to meeting in person. Yeah, it was. And then the awards night, you know, oh, for anybody that's never night. been to the, the actual business awards night at the International Centre, I always say to people that you'll be blown away when you actually walk From through the, the door. the moment you walk so. in and you get the welcome drink and you're having a chat and you're meeting people, may, you may not have seen, well I haven't seen some of those people I spoke to for quite some time because of Covid etc, so it was lovely to have a conversation. Then you walk into the big hall with your main event and you've got all the tables and it's just fantastic and I think as Kelly said, it doesn't matter what size the business is, just get some friends together, you know, get your business colleagues and, and book a table for that because it's just a fantastic experience, even if you're not up for award or you've, you've nominated yourselves. And I also think one of the interesting things about the award night itself is that you've got some people who are there because they're up for an award, mm -hmm. you've got some people that are there as sponsors, you've got some people that are there just because it's their big corporate company night out. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, but, so everybody wants to, so you've got to pr put a night on that's got those different elements, haven't you, for everybody? And it has got those elements, you know, you have your guest speaker, and I, I, you're still not telling me who it is, but you know, so you have your, your guest on, you know, as you say, you've got your awards that are put out for the evening, and then there's a chance to have a bit of dancing in the evening later on. <laughs> exactly. Well, now, it's on a need-to-know basis, the guest speaker, so I'll, uh, I'll, I'll tell you. I'll try and get out of them. Now, hot footing it into the studio, straight off, I'm sure, a very important engagement. He's come scree screeching onto the car park, um, <laughs> obeying all the traffic rules, I'm sure. Of course. Neil Hooper from ACO in Oswald Street. And ACO in Oswald Street, of course, uh, have set a record at Shropshire Chamber Business Awards. The only company not only to win Company of the Year, but to then retain the title, Neil. So, uh, are you going for a hat trick this year then? Is that the plan? <laughs> But we, uh, hi, hi both of you, how are you? Good, good, good. good. I've yeah. left a bit of burning rubber out there. Right? <laughs> it's good, it's good. It's good. It. I hope Sorry, you haven't walked out of an important <laughs> meeting to be with us here. So. Of course I have, Carl, you've been both very important. Um, yes, what, what an honour, incredibly proud, and, and the, the two other awards that we've won each year We've won as well. I mean, over the last two or three years, you know, everything from, everything from business in the community, young staff, your apprentices. And, what does it mean to the business? You know, why why are awards like this important? Recognition, uh, recognition's fantastic for all of us, for all of our colleagues, and and also we. What we found out is when we're going around, um, particularly in the community, with the community companies we work with, with the charities, they've actually said, and I think it's the most gratifying thing, that because other companies potentially see what we've done and we're we're pushing the people that we're working with, the inspirational people that we're working with in the community, um, on social media, on websites, they're find that, finding that other companies in Shropshire are reaching out to them, mm -hmm. are going to them and offering their services or financial help, etc. So that's probably the most gratifying thing out of this. And, and also, I've mentioned this before, whilst we're complete, completing the actual award entry, there are always things that we look at and think, we're not really very good at this, are we? And it's not because we're not therefore going to win the award, it's that as a business, we should be better. Makes you look back at yourself, doesn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely, oh, it definitely well, does. But before we talk more about that, let's have a reminder of the moment last year when you found out that you'd won the big one, the Company of the Year trophy. Have a look at this. I mean, sustainability is a huge part of what we do at ACO and Jane and I, Lee and Ryan, uh, all kind of, you know, work so hard to make sure we're a sustainable company yeah. in Shropshire. And, you know, when there's so many SMEs, a large business like us should be doing it. Um, and now we're trying to pave the way for others and help them along their journey as well. The company of the year 2022 is ACO. We've looked at some great people who care who are passionate and do a great job. Yeah. And obviously, the, we'd really like to thank the independent judges for the, the three awards that we picked up this evening and for Shropshire Chamber again for organising such a great event. That must have been a great night, Neil, because of course the first time you won the Company of the Year award was the time when it wasn't in front of an audience because of COVID, so you weren't able to celebrate collectively with your staff and, and, and experience the atmosphere, but last year you were able to, so that must yes, have been great. absolutely, yes, it was virtual. Looking at that, I remember as well, I'd just come back from holiday, 
you probably noticed the uh, the mark on my forehead. I'd fallen out with a paddle board, and obviously the paddle paddleboard had won. <laughs> Always racing around, see Neil. That's it, going from one thing to the next, racing around. <laughs> too <laughs> <from> <laughs> down the seven, yes, it, it was brilliant. There were twenty of us there, and uh, it was fantastic to 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 be there on on the on the evening and and to to accept. As you said, the previous one was virtual, was virtual, but it wasn't diminished in any way because of that. It's just an honour, isn't it, to be recognised by your peers? You know, we are in Shropshire and. Shropshire matches a lot to us. So. And, and tell us a bit about the business as it is at the moment. What are the growth patterns like? What are the opportunities? What's the current economy doing for the business? Are there so challenges? Are there... Last year, 20% growth. We closed off our financial year as the calendar year. Mm. So an exceptional year. It started exceptionally well again. And we're in, we're in and around the UK or every part of the UK. And everything I keep hearing is that it's not as bad as the media mm. is telling us, mm. most people, I mean, you were there uh, yesterday at the patrons yes. meeting, the, pa the Shropshire mm. Chamber of Commerce patrons, and the vast majority are saying, we're doing well. We're, we're seeing growth, we're really progressing. So we're talking to Andy we're Begley. To yeah. recruit. Talking to Andy Begley a little bit earlier, Chief Executive of the Shropshire mm. Council, saying exactly the same, you know, it's far from doom and gloom everywhere. Far uh, and Nick it. James as well, I was talking to Nick, and we mentioned it before in a clip with Nick, and again, businesses and, and general people are saying the same thing. So I think, Yes, we're in the media, but there are media hyping it up as a story to, yes. to sell newspapers, to, to get yes. hits on their website. Does that impact business then, do you think? Um, yes, because I think, I think there will be large projects that businesses were investing in and going to invest in, and they're look, re-looking at it because they're thinking, well, we could, we could head into a recession, we could have incredibly large interest rates, there's a skills shortage, so should we just complete two-thirds of it and give the go-ahead and just hold back and wait and see? But I, I'm honestly delighted to say that the, the, the vast majority of areas in the UK are, are doing well, are in upturn. Yes, of course, we have a record deficit as a country as an economy that's got to be that's got to be replaced but it's only going to be replaced by growth by people continuing to push themselves forward looking to change looking to progress and I think it I think the outlook looks good I'm not I'm not neglecting the fact of interest rates and the fact that we we could do with more people and even better trained people of course we, we would all say that but what are you going to do just work harder and it's out there. Yeah. Well, you, you and I and members of your team, members of the Chambers team, of course, been, were touring the county uh, at the back end of last year on this business growth roadshow, sharing and you know, help some of some opportunities and top tips for success. That must be a really rewarding thing to do. Must it be is. To give back it it, it to is. Back. It is. Uh, I've got those roadshows and now with the learning and development that we've been carrying out over the last five or six years that you're incredibly aware of and that we were talking about um, around Shropshire, companies are now asking us to go in to, to help them mm. get the learning and development aspects moving forward because it is all about people. Everything that you can do, we're in, look, we're in a really, really lucky position and we're a successful business and we want to utilize what we've learned the good the bad and the ugly we've made mistakes we haven't got everything right we're not perfect by a long stretch but these are things that we tried this worked this didn't we thought it would and also the experience that we have from that it gives my colleagues great inspiration to go out to other companies and around Shropshire to go and help them and try who wouldn't want to do that what a fantastic place and isn't to be it great personal development from their yeah. point of view while they're doing it, it at the same it time as well isn't it because so. they're used to us they're used to doing their stuff they're great things with us as a team but to go out and, and embrace other people and mm. try to use to utilize their skills with other companies mm. can you imagine how much pride that gives yes, them that we that we're not only trying to but we are helping other companies why not so the big question i guess then neil is you're going to be going for the company of the year hat trick this year <laughs> <laughs> Always the probing. I've got to end with the probing question, the hard hitting question. We lull you in, shoot some nice shit out, then we hit you with the probing question. Shropshire's answer to Andrew Neil strikes again. I'll take that as a yes then, Charlie. Genuinely, I do say this a lot. My colleagues decide these things, they're the people on day to day basis are running, driving the business forward, and they look, if they genuinely look at criteria, 
and if they think, yeah, okay, we, 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 could, we could put our hat in the ring, they will. Mm -hmm. If there is a section where we think, oh, do you know what? We should have done better there, then we probably won't. We'll go away and work on the section that we should have been doing better. Mm -hmm. So it does help us grow and develop mm -hmm. by entering awards and, of course, attending awards. It was a brilliant evening. Mm -hmm. We had 20 people, as I've already mentioned mm. there, so we will definitely be attending mm. uh, 20, 30 strong, whether, we're, whether, we're, um, whether we actually apply, whether we're shortlisted or, or whether we will we'll be there. It'd be great fun. Absolutely, it yeah. always is. Thank yeah. you for joining us. It's great Thanks to see you. And uh, we'll be sticking, sticking around for the Business Awards launch in an hour yes, or so. Yes, yes. Some of my colleagues are coming along to join me as well. Fantastic. Yeah. Absolutely. It's a great, great event. Excellent. Brilliant.